Howdy ho guys and gals, it's Red, your friendly neighbor Tool Bear, back again here in the Den of Tools, and today I'm bringing you my top 20 tools under 20 bucks that you can find at Ye Old Harbor Freight. Now before we jump into it, I want to thank today's sponsor, that is Slick Deals. They've got 13 million members finding, sourcing all sorts of great deals from across the the, uh, the interwebs and in brick and mortar, all sorts of places. And now they've got it, they made it even easier. They've got a new free online tool, a browser extension that plugs into your favorite browsers and allows you to find super easy deals just like this one here. I just found using the same tool, 48 inch workbench with light from Harbor Freight. This thing's $100 on clearance. And I'll tell you what, you might even have a chance to find it cheaper in stores. And I will be honest, you know, downside, it is kind of fiddly. You got a lot of little bolts and stuff to put together. But once you get together right, you get it all square and everything. This thing is solid. You got a light up top. You got the power strip on the side. You got a great flat surface on this. The pegboard's on the back. It makes a great little workbench. Uh, 48 inches, not actually not so little. It's fantastic at that price. And if you get even cheaper, that's an even better deal, right? So let's talk then about now. Moving forward, the top 20 tools under 20 bucks. And the first one is the classic, and that's the grinder. Used to be the Chicago Electric Grinder. It is now the Warrior Grinder. So now they changed the colors. They raised the price a little bit. Everyone's like, well, I want to still get it for $10. Well, it used to be on sale for $10. Guess what? Still, when it goes on sale, it's $10. How do you like that? That's pre-inflation pricing. This is a fantastic little grinder. Great as a light duty grinder. Great as a backup or secondary grinder. If you don't like changing your disc, say you want to have a grinding disc on your main grinder, then pick up one of these to have a flap disc or a wire wheel on or something like that. That way you're not having to change all the time. They are fantastic. And at $10, $10, just run them till they get hot. Once they get hot, let it sit down, let it take a break, have a glass of water or something and chill. If you don't overheat it, if you treat it right, it'll last you, okay? Now, this is the only one on here that we have that's kind of an accessory, but I love it so much. I'm straight up fan bear for this power switch. I use it on all my, almost all my floor tools and, and a lot of my bench tools as well. You can even use it on some corded hand tools for stuff. I use it with my bandsaw all the time so I can have two hands on that thing. This thing is fantastic at $15. It's a no brainer. All right, let's move on to the next one. This is a great deal here. 20 bucks for a detail sander. This is this thing is just it just works. That's all there is to it. It's not high power, but it's got the nice little pointed snout on it. There gets in all those little corners just like you want something like this to do. It does a decent job. It's got a little bit of dust collection on it. You know what more do you want from an inexpensive under twenty dollar sander? It works great. Next one is going to be the Bauer, as I call it, the ultimate kitchen tool. This is the kind of thing you just sit on your counter, leave it plugged in, and it, it's always there when you need it. Because you're always looking for a quick little fix around the house. You don't want to run out to the shop, grab your good tools. This one's right there. And then you know what else is nice? You're always needing a flashlight, right? Or the power goes out or something. Somebody always needs a flashlight. Well, this is a screwdriver and flashlight in one. It's always charged. It's ready to go. Uh, it pivots so you can use it as a straight driver or an angle driver. It's a great little tool, and at $18, that is a pickup that you just want to get, especially if you can get one of the coupons on it. Next up, we got the Pittsburgh Pro. I've talked about this one for years. What a great little extendable ratchet here. It's not a super heavy-duty kind of ratchet. I'm not trying to say that it is, but that, re that reach there lets you get to places you can't normally get to. It does give you a little bit of extra leverage. But best of all, it's a, it's reversible. You've got a quarter inch on one side, three-eighths on the other side, and that's going to allow you to, like, if I'm working on bikes, I'm constantly switching back, you know, whether it's the kids' bikes or the e-bikes, constantly switching back and forth between, you know, quarter-inch and three-eighths, uh, you know, sockets and stuff like that. Also, if I have to travel, that's one less ratchet I have to carry with me. It is super nice. It's not super heavy-duty, but come on, at $15 for, for two tools plus the extendability, that is a great all-around lifesaver right there. Next up, we've got the Warrior Heat Gun. Not the top-end heat gun, but if you just need some basic kind of stuff here, you can throw the handle in a vise. You can use it hands-free. $17. You know, are there better ones out there? Sure, I really love the the Bauer one here. It's got all sorts of settings. It's got a flat back. You can set it on, a, on its back hands-free, but that's $40. Not everyone's got that kind of budget. You can get essentially the same thing here for $17. All right, that's... Will it have all the settings and stuff? No, but you know what? It does a does a pretty good job. Next up, another great bench top tool. Great to have. Solves a lot of problems. We got the SAE and metric 
T handle, ball and hex key. I love the ball and option on this. 18 piece set with the rack. This is everything you're, well, not, maybe not everything, but for most people, it's going to be everything you need there for $20. That's a one and done solution. This is a great little set. Honestly, I was surprised at the quality of these. They've lasted a good long time. Have I stepped up since then? Yeah, but you know what? Many of you will never need to step up from this, and it'll work just fine at $20. That allows, saving that money allows you to spend that money elsewhere. Talk about another great starter solution. How about this? Raised panel SAE metric combo wrench set, 22 piece for 20 bucks. 22 pieces, $20. That's less than a dollar a piece if my bare kind of bare brain math is right. Anyway, and people are like, well, there's skips in there. Look at this. Look at this. Here we go. We come down to, what is it? Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Six to 14, no skips. Yes, it does jump up to 17 and 19. But for 99% of the DIYers, we can worry, people just getting started, you're not going to need those tools. And if suddenly you do run across one, you can go pick up a single tool or something like that. I like, you know, I wish Harbor Freight would carry them. A lot of them they don't. But you know what? You go by Home Depot or Lowe's or something, grab a Husky or Cobalt, something inexpensive, fill in that gap if you need it. And chances are you won't. $20. For a lifetime warranty on these tools, they're, they're, you know, kind of resemble the old school kind of craftsman kind of stuff. This is a great little starter set. Great, you know, portable set, a tool set you're going to take with you where you might get lost. Your brother-in-law might borrow it. You know what happens there. All right, moving along. So a slight step up from this. Let's look at the Quinn brand. Look at this great set of screwdrivers. Diamond tip screwdrivers. Six piece. You're getting three Phillips, three slotted head. For those of you who don't know, they're not called flatheads. Flatheads are the screws. The screwdrivers are slotted head, $17. Now, this is not a coupon price. This is a discount price. That's full list, $17. These have a great set on them. They have nice, comfortable handles. And I look, they got the pass-through on the handle, so you can hang them on hooks. Or you can use another screwdriver, pass it through there, get an extra torque on it. If you got a wrench, you can use it on the shaft because they're square shaft. Look at that. So you can use it on that as well. $17. This is a great set. I hear from people all the time how much they like this set. All right, let's move along. All right, I will be honest. I, for a long time, have told you, you know what? I'm not a fan of those gray, quick-release clamps that, that Harbor Freight has. Not a fan of them. But these blue Bremen, they're fantastic. They're really great for the price. Look at this. 36-inch for $20. Look at this. 6-inch for $10. 12-inch for $13. 24-inch for $15. We even got the hand clamps. 2-inch hand clamp, 5 bucks. Five bucks. Oh my gosh. The, they've really killed it with the Bremen set. In fact, we're not even done with Bremen. The next one is the Bremen locking pliers. Yeah, there's better pliers out there. I've got a set of the Malco Eagle Grips. They send them out to me. Those things are the Mercedes Benz of made in the USA. Just quintessential, perfect locking pliers. All right. Still made in DeWitt, Nebraska. They're fantastic. They're also $50. That's a lot of cash, all right? If you're just filling in some some maybe kind of stuff or maybe you're on a budget, you know, that's, you could almost, you could buy four of these for the price of one of the Eagle Mal, Mal, or Eagle Grip from Malco. This, they're fantastic, but these are pretty darn good and I think they're well worth the $13 price on that. Next up, the hatchet. I love this thing, that one and a quarter pound hickory axe here with genuine hickory handle, nice solid axe head, no flash, just works. You can put a great edge on this thing for $15, which is 14 inches long. This thing is just, it just works, and it's a great must-have. Speaking of something like this, how about this? My favorite, by far my favorite hammer I got. I mean, I just me, I love my S-Wings and stuff like that. The four-pound hardwood engineer's hammer. This is, don't call it a sledge, ain't a sledgehammer. This is your persuader this is going we're just gonna gonna tap it in there it's just gonna get in there you're gonna go you don't know it but you're gonna get in there and that's what i use this thing for i carry it with me uh in the truck and stuff i use it all the time all sorts of great there's there's always a reason to have this around it always comes up there's always something like oh yeah i got something to fix that in my truck all right next to opposite end of the spectrum here we're looking at the four inch digital calipers here these things are fantastic. Are now are they machinist grade? No, but they're twenty bucks. And for everything else, for woodworking, for all sorts of stuff, for basic you know fixing kind of stuff, working on your car, working on your tools and your machines and stuff, this thing will get the job done. And it's it's all it's quick and it's easy and it's accurate for twenty dollars. Next up, Quinn. Now they just sent Hartfreak just sent this to me, 
And I got to tell you, I didn't know what to think of them at first. I find myself using these things all the time. Boy, these are tough as nail little scissors. They got all sorts of little features built into it. Now they're set up, they're called ele electrician scissors is what they're often referred to as. They call them electrical and data cable scissors, $13. You got notches over here for stripping. You got cable cutters right there in the center. You got crimpers built into the handle. These things are super thick, heavy duty blades on them. And on top of it, you see the serration on the outside? You can ream conduit and other stuff with that. That's what that's there for. So this thing, it's a whole solution in a pocket size kind of, kind of cutter. Great leverage on these great handles. I love using these things. I used them today. All right, next up, we've got the Quantum. 140 lumen pocket rechargeable pen light. And I can already hear a bunch of you going and moaning and moaning. It's only 140 lumens. What am I going to do to 140 lumens? This is what we like to call an inspection light, okay? When you're getting into a fuse box or in your engine bay or all sorts of stuff, don't be pulling out that 800, 1200, 2000 lumen light. You're going to blind yourself. The only thing you're going to see is spots. This is low power, just enough illumination so you can actually see what you're looking at. What a concept. And you know what else? It's rechargeable. It's pen light size. You can put, throw it in your pocket. This thing is great for $20. It is, trust me, try a lower grade light next time. You'll be surprised what you'll be able to see. Next up, we got two lights. We got the Hercules and we've got the, uh, the was it the Bauer here? They're essentially, as far as I can tell, they're essentially the same thing. A little different grip different color paint on them I, I know it's the plastic but you know what i'm saying here 18 dollars versus 20 dollars. the takeaway is they're great little light 20, 220 lumen work light pivoting head you can set it down you can hang it it can it can look it can go everywhere look at all the stuff it does this is a great little light and works you know with all the hercules 20 volt stuff or the bauer 20 volt stuff this is a great little light for 18 dollars that's just kind of a no-brainer again. All right, next up, we've got some precision pliers here from Doyle. Doyle makes some great stuff. We're going to talk about more of them in just a minute. But if you're looking for a set of small, like we're talking like electrical kind of stuff, detail work, hobby kind of work, you got the long nose, the short nose, and the side clips there uh, for $15. Spring-loaded, nice cushion grips. These are a great set of pliers for that price. All right, and now we got to talk about the Quinn, the Quinn, the, the auto adjusting, uh, uh, or they call it self adjusting here. We used to call them automatic wire strippers. There is a learning curve to learning to use them. There's a pace that you want to go. You have to, you have to get a, a feel for it. But it's a pretty quick. You know, you'll take you a few tries. You'll get it. But once you got it, oh my gosh, this thing's a rock star. And it's got all sorts of other stuff built in. It's got crimpers there. It's got cutters. It does the whole nine yards. I've run miles, just so many miles of cable. You have no idea. Back in the day, that's one of the things I used to do. And I ran data line, I ran fiber, and I ran Cat5 and Cat6. And uh, when these came out, they it was like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And they were not this cheap. Well, 20 bucks, you're talking like more like $70 back, back in my day. Uh, and and they, they've perfected them since then. They're way better than what I got to use back then. And if you're running, if you're doing a big project or you do a lot of wire, you got to get yourself a set of these. There's just no two ways about it. All right, now we got to talk about the Doyle. All right, this is one of my favorite setups right here, the flat nose assembly pliers. I love these pliers. Great leverage. You can get a really good grip on a lot of stuff. I use pliers. I have a set of channel locks like this I use all the time. If I didn't have those, I would definitely pick up the Doyle. But you know what I have? I have a whole bunch of the other Doyle stuff. If you've seen the videos, you know I do. And this is all stuff I've picked up. Just, you know, I, when I go into Harbor Freight and there's a coupon going on, they have that, like, anything under 20 bucks coupon, I always load up on the Doyle stuff. Look at this. All sorts of, we got side cutters, we got needle nose, we got, look at this, the channel locks, the tongue and groove, groove joint pliers here, $11, 10-inch groove joint pliers for $11. They're fantastic. They're really good quality. I was stunned at the quality of the Doyle stuff. I've really fallen in love with it. So anyway, there's your top 20, but don't go away because I got some bonus items for you. Items that aren't really under 20 bucks, but are. That is, we got the Warrior Recip Saw. It used to be the Chicago Electric. This thing's a great light duty DIYer saw. You plug it in, it has way better runtime than any of that battery stuff. You can use it all the time, but you know what? On sale, it goes on sale all the time, still for 20 bucks. That's the classic price, the always, always on sale price. 
20 bucks. How about this? Bauer 2.8 amp 5 inch random orbital palm sander there. Great little sander. Does a fantastic job. $40. I mean, honestly, you can't get this for under 12. Wait, you can. Under 20 bucks. This is on sale now. Right now here. Look at this. Limit 3 expires 918. This is a sale you can get on the go to Harbor Freight, go to uh, deals and you can get you can get your coupons right there, all right? How about this one? We got the Ames Instrument 12, uh, 12 to 1 infrared laser thermometer. I love these no contact thermometers. I use them for all sorts of stuff from checking things out around the house, from looking at engines to working to cooking on my grill. All right. I use them all the time. And I always say if you can get a good one for under 20 bucks, that's a great deal. And guess what? On sale right now, under 20 bucks till the 18th. There you go. That's that's a uh, if you don't have one of these thermometers, you got to pick it up. How about this? My son picked up one of these a couple years ago for a project, and we use it all the time. I love this thing. It is just solid. It just works. Uh, you know, you plug it in. It just goes, and it goes and goes and goes. I haven't been able to kill this thing. I did manage to fling one of, the, one of these stones, flung it across the room. That was exciting. Make sure you get it seated all the way, the shank all the way in there, just a FYI. Uh, anyway, 30, or not 12, $23 on that. But, yep, you got it on sale right now till the 18th for $15. And then we got the classic shop light, the Braun 5000 Lumen 4-foot LED. This is the replacement for every, you know, at least for my age, growing up, every shop had the ink, it was the fluorescent bulb shop lights. Well, this is the replacement for that. It's in LED. Uh, it just works. It can't break and shower glass all over you. Like as a, and and pre-inflation and whatnot, it was 20 bucks all day long. Well, how much is it now? Well, we're looking at, guess what? $18 on sale right now. That's what I'm telling you. There's some fantastic deals, but I got one more. This is this is my favorite sub $20 tool. It really is. Now, recently, they've raised it in price. Yep, it's $22. This is the Pittsburgh Pro half-inch breaker bar, 25-inch. This thing hangs in there with the big boys. I'm talking about with, like, Snap-on and the like. This thing is fantastic. I know tons of pros who use this each and every day. But guess what? On sale, when it goes on sale, it goes on sale for $15. Not on sale right now, but it goes on sale all the time for $15. That is a no-brainer. I got to tell you, I got into it with couple of the Harbor Freight folks over there, they were trying to push the new Icon breaker bar, and I was talking to them, and they're like, well, you know, the, the Icon version is much stronger, and it won't break as easily. I'm like, funny, I, I thought this had a lifetime warranty. <laughs> oh, wait, it does. Yeah, I almost got turned into a bearskin rug that day. <laughs> anyway, there you go. That's the, the top 20 deals for under 20 bucks that the Bears picked from ye old Harbor Freight. Don't forget to check, check out our sponsor today. That, of course, is Slick Deals. They are fantastic folks. Love working with them. Get that browser extension. Help put some money back in your pocket. That's what I always say. And also, don't forget to check us out over on the old, you know, uh, Facebook. We got the, the group over there trying to save you money. Find all sorts of hot tool deals right there as well. We're also, you get the behind-the-scenes stuff on the old Instagrams and the TikToks. We're down at at the where we were at the rodeo last night we're doing some cooking tomorrow night we got all sorts of great stuff we'll be down paradise valley checking all that be sure you, if you if you're stuck in the big city and you want to see what country life's like come and check us out because we're having a heck of a good time out here anyway that's all this bear has for you today you all take care god bless and as always shine on